3D Focus Dot Mac review. Coming up. I'm going to fully review the Android-based LG Optimus 3D, one of the world's first glasses-free 3D smartphones that can shoot 3D video and 3D photography and display user-generated and professional content in glasses-free 3D. With a series of built-in 3D games from Gameloft, direct access to YouTube 3D, and a collection of professionally produced 3D clips, LG are fully exploiting the phone's 3D capabilities, even offering real-time 2D to 3D conversion of photos, videos, and games. The question is, is it any good as a phone and is the 3D nothing more than a novelty? After 8 weeks of testing, I tell you the unbiased truth. You're going to see lots of 3D samples too, so get your red cyan glasses ready. If you'd rather watch the 3D samples in other formats, click the appropriate link when it appears. I'm not going to talk too much about the regular smartphone features of this phone because if you haven't, if you've had an Android system before, you'll be in familiar, to, familiar territory. However, just there are a few things before I go into the 3D aspects. There are a few things I will mention. Now, the screen is 480 times 800, which is a little bit less than the HTC Evo 3D, and not as good as the iPhone 4, or as impressive as the Samsung Galaxy. But it's still a very impressive bright screen that has the usual landscape switching features as well. Now, internet browsing is a cinch on this phone it's very very simple the usual android system search you know pinch and uh, pinch and zoom using the multi-touch capacitive screen and the great thing obviously being an android system is that it supports flash so a lot of the websites that you couldn't see on an iphone are fully supported in there as well so you've got embedded video included what i don't like is this horrendous um, typing keyboard here it, the keys are so close together when you're text messaging or inputting data into the uh, Google field very often you get it wrong so the only real way you can do this is by putting it on landscape mode so what about the cameras well that's the main feature is that there's two five megapixel cameras here quite close together and they offer obviously 2d photography and 3d photography 2d video and 3d video too in the daylight, the LG Optimus 3D's performance is perfectly acceptable, but even though it is said to be 30 frames per second, I have seen smoother playback on other phones. The phone performs better for photography, but with 8 megapixel camera phones on the market, the picture quality of the LG Optimus 3D's 2D picture quality has been surpassed. It looks fine on a small screen, but as soon as you view these images on a television, they do become pixelated. However, let's give LG credit where it's due. They have packed in two cameras on the phone for 3D photography, of which samples are coming up in just a few minutes. switching 2D and 3D both for video and for images as well. So easy just to click of a button. So let's talk about the glasses free screen. It's 4.3 inches, it uses lenticular technology. So the screen is split into lines. One image is there, one image is there, and they direct each image to the left and right eye. Now the problem with that is it goes from a 480 screen, 480 times 800 to a 480 times 400 per uh, uh, overall resolution, half in the resolution. But believe me, the 3D effect does make up for that. Now I've seen several 3D screens, and this is up there with one of the best, I have to say. The, the quality is fantastic, there's huge depth as well. The depth goes really far out of the screen, uh, into the screen and far out of the screen. Nobody, I deny anybody to not be impressed with the screen. And yes, there is a, uh, a viewing zone, but you sort of never really go out if you're holding it like that. The problem is with that, if you're gaming, this, this phone has several built-in games to it, very good games as well from Gameloft, that's where there is a problem, and that's just the same issue with the 3DS as well. Gaming, I don't think really works with glasses free. So the screen itself is perfect. Now, 
Unlike the HTC Evo, HTC themselves haven't really pushed the 3D functionality of the phone as LG have. They are really good at giving you loads of different 3D options in terms of content. In fact, they've recently given this camera phone to a load of uh, geo photographers who are going around the world to produce photography and video, uh, uploading that to a Nat Geo gallery that you can see in 3D. That's coming pretty soon. Also, LG are talking to partners to launch a movie store and a video store as well. Pretty soon we can access an application to download content, again, similar to the 3DS. So, this is the 3D space here. And you have, even the interface has got an impressive 3D screen, so you've got your 3D games, 3D guide, that just basically gives you an uh, some information about how you do it, and YouTube 3D. Now this is genius, I think. YouTube 3D, because YouTube have a, a lot of 3D content out there right now, they have done a deal with LG, which means you can um, just access all the 3D videos straight away. So the ones that work are the ones that are side-by-side -side images. This is what the phone uses. You have little 3D icons. So there's some great stuff, for example, Jane's Addiction comes alive, it's the world's first user-generated 3D concert. There's um, a really good show just done it. Yeah, all the GoPro 3D stuff is just mind-blowing. And also to go back, you have um, built-in content, which is a load of clips and very impressive ones as well. In fact, Ultimate Wave Tahiti is just outstanding. It's a joke how good it is. Everybody I show is just blown away. Pretty stunning. So that's the inbuilt content. What about filming stuff yourself? Well, mm, not quite as good. Problem is the lenses are too close together, it's as simple as that. The Fuji Film W3 camera had lenses quite far apart, and you got some really good uh, landscape shots. If you know anything about 3D, you'll know that the closer the lenses are together, uh, the closer you have to be to anything to get a good 3D image. So you can get some stunning portrait shots, you can get some stunning close-up shots of people and everything. Look at those back in your glasses free screen. However, it's a shame they should have just, they just put them now, I don't know. I don't know quite know what the decision was to put them so close together. Well, even with those two lenses very close together, you can still take some pretty impressive 3D video and 3D photography. The only thing you have to be aware of is that you've got to have quite a few things at different planes in the shot, and also the front plane has to be very close to the camera. I would suggest about a meter in front of the camera because you want things slightly coming out. Um, we're going to look now at some 3D video, and I'm not going to use a tripod because you would do that naturally. And when you are in 3D video recording mode, there are several options. You've got three different quality levels from HD down to VGA. Then you've also got two different focusing modes, one being border and one being central. Also, you have the typical white balance features such as incandescent, uh, auto and fluorescent. And you also have 3D video stabilization, which you have to activate. It's not on by default. Now, even though this has 3D video stabilization, when you're recording 3D video with this phone, you're going to want to keep the movement fairly fluid and, and not too fast because even though it is 30 frames per second, I think it's still pretty juddery. So, just see for ourselves. Now, I've encoded this into Red Cyan uh, for uh, glasses required viewing. So, if you've got some Red Cyan glasses, put them on and now. And I use the free stereo video maker software for this particular sequence you're just about to see. If you want to see this in other YouTube 3D formats, click on the LG Optimus 3D test compilation footage and a video on this uh, YouTube channel, and you'll have all the different 3D options that YouTube provides as well. So, let's have a look. Let's see how this performs through these two very close together lenses. <laughs>
thing I do want to point out, if you've taken your 3D photos, you've taken your 3D video, it would have been great if Algae allowed you to send that to friends. Now, obviously, you can send your 3D video and 3D photo to other users of the Algae Optimus. However, when you send it to people with, let's say, for an, an iPhone or something, Galaxy, it will not show up, even as a side-by-side -side image. So what would have been nice if they'd have instantly encoded it in maybe to red cyan when people got the photograph they could have put their glasses on and, and just see it would have been a fun thing to do um even if it was a side by side image they could have processed that another way so if you do send a photo to somebody a 3d photo to somebody with a 2d phone which is face that most people will have it will come up as the jps format which is what the format the the uh, lg optimus 3d uses now if they had if they were inclined, they could then drag that off and put it into a software package like Stereo Photo Maker and look at it in various different 3D options. But that'd be a bit of a hassle. So that's a shame. That would have been a nice touch. Now, this phone has conversion. I'm sure you've re uh, read recently that the, uh, this phone will be able to convert OpenGL 2D games into 3D. I haven't tried it yet. That's going to be in the software update when it goes to Gingerbread. This is the Android version before that. However, Funny enough, this actually will convert any media, either the images or video, into 3D on the fly. So when I say any media, so you could take something, for example, from iPlayer, which I've done, go to the gallery, all my regular files are in here, and I could go to mPlayer here. This is Dragon's Den, for example. Now, this is like any video, that's, so this could be an image, or this could be film or whatever and then click on and you see this icon here 2D press that and I'm instantly in 3D now and you could do that for your own user generated videos as well now I have to say for a system that's uh, relatively cheap and it's doing it in real time I've actually that's better conversion than I've actually seen on, on proper big you know 2,000 pound 3D sets you know it's not perfect but it's a bit, a bit of fun at the end of the day YouTube are now doing 2D to 3D conversion as well. So any video you put into YouTube, that will convert it to 3D. So you've done your videos, you've done your photographs, you want to share it. Now, the images in here are known as JPS, which is a format of JPEG. That will save the two images side by side. So easy. Just drag them off the phone, you get a USB cable, put them into a folder, then you've got the two images uh, that you can then put into some free software. You can see on the bottom of the screen now, there's some software you can download from download.com. Uh, which will enable you to change it to Anaglyph or side by side, any kind of way of doing it. Also, the video, as I said, if you put, if you do any video on this, you can upload it straight to YouTube, that will be straight away in 3D. So it's a very easy way, and also if you have got a 3D TV, it's a HDMI socket here, put it into your 3D TV, and you're watching in 3D. So overall, I'm really impressed. Now, Tap Radar gave it 3.5 out of 5, uh, PC Pro and Pocket Lint gave it 4 out of 5 and another website put them down and gave it three out of five. So that's what they're saying. People are sort of complaining about um, it might be a little bit gimmicky and I don't know if I disagree or agree with that. I have to say I'm using the 3D functionality a lot less than I did. Um, you know, it's very impressive to start off with but I don't particularly watch much 3D stuff on that and I'm really into 3D. Also the games are better in 2D, I have to say. I thought this was the 3DS. The, with gaming, it's better to have HD gaming, I think, a nice crisp screen, rather than sacrifice the resolution and going 3D. But also, one side of me would think, well, I wouldn't want to go back to a 2D camera phone now. There's something, having the, the 3D option, I think it's almost become a bit, a bit normal for me now, but I might be slightly different to everybody else. But if you are looking for a phone, it's a fantastic phone. It's powerful, it's got tri -cool technology. It's a powerful phone, it's an Android phone, it's got a great screen, and you've got the 3D thrown in, uh, sorry, the yeah, 3D aspect thrown in there as well. It's also the text, if they put the, the text system out, I'd be giving it a higher score.